Dr. Grover is an esteemed consultant specializing in internal medicine, rheumatology, and nephrology with over 20 years of experience. He holds a special interest in kidney problems, including kidney transplantation, sensitized and ABO incompatible kidney transplantation, hemodialysis, CAPD, and critical care nephrology. Dr. Grover studied medicine at Ames, New Delhi, and qualified with his medical degree in 1998. Post that, he continued his association with Ames as MD, medicine from 1999 to 2001, and then in clinical immunology and rheumatology from 2002 to 2006. He went on to pursue his doctorate in nephrology at PGI MER from 2006 to 2009. He has been practicing in the field of nephrology since 2009 and has been associated with highly reputed hospitals, including St. Stephen's Hospital, Fortis Vasant Kunj, Fortis Escorts, Fortis CDOC, and Holy Family Hospital. He is presently associated as Senior Consultant Nephrology with Max Super Specialty Hospital, Sackett, and has been practicing here since 2013. We are so thankful to have Dr. Grover with us. We thank him from the bottom of our heart for lending his support for healthcare education and prevention. We try to classify the diseases into some sort of syndromes, uh, which give us an idea that what will be the underlying etiologies. So they are commonly classified as uh, acute kidney injury, a chronic kidney disease, or what was earlier called a chronic renal failure a rapidly progressive renal failure. Uh, these uh, acute kidney injury, chronic kidney disease and rapidly progressive renal failures are diagnosed on the basis of how fast the kidney failure occurs. So if it's occurring over say, hours, two days, it is called an acute kidney injury. If it is occurring over a few weeks, then it is called a rapidly progressive renal failure or acute kidney disease. And if it occurs over months, generally more than three months, uh, then it is called a chronic kidney disease. So that is one way of looking at kidney diseases. The other uh, ways it is looked at is how they present. So while acute kidney disease or acute kidney injury and chronic kidney disease can be considered syndromes, there are some unique syndromes like nephrotic syndrome. Uh, this is a syndrome in which a lot of protein leaks from the kidney and a person develops a lot of swelling or what we call as edema and there are some unique features like low albumin levels, high cholesterol levels. Uh, that is called a nephrotic syndrome. And similarly, uh, illness can occur very quickly uh, after generally some infections commonly of throat or skin which causes a kidney failure very quickly which is called an acute nephritis or an acute nephritic illness. So those are some other forms of kidney diseases. Then some people have uh, asymptomatic urinary abnormalities that they will come to us with some protein leakage or some red cells or white cells in the urine without too many other systemic symptoms. So they are called asymptomatic urinary abnormalities. Then there are certain classifications. Some kidneys can develop certain infections like urine infections, which we call as UTIs. And then they can be obstructive kidney diseases that the kidney is per se okay, but the path of urine is blocked. So Sometimes it is by a stone, sometimes by some tumor or a prostrate. So these are called obstructive uropathies. So this is a sort of way we look at uh, a person when who is coming with a kidney issue to us. We try to classify what sort of a disease he is having into these syndromes or classifications. We also, the kidney also can have its own diseases, which are called primary kidney diseases. That is, uh, they belong to the kidney itself. And then there are certain diseases which are secondary. That is like a common example is diabetes. Diabetes is more of a disease of the pancreatic islet cells or uh, because of obesity, there's insulin resistance or deficiency that causes diabetes. But then diabetes gradually affects the kidneys and causes diabetic nephropathy over there. So then the disease is emerging from the rest of the body causing effect on the kidney. Similarly, sometimes patient with liver 
dysfunction develop what we call as a hepatorenal syndrome that the liver is failing and it affects the kidneys same way sometimes the heart becomes weak and that affects the kidney that is called a cardiorenal syndrome so this is how we uh, look at kidney diseases when they uh, when we start classifying them